We are in the golden age of TikTok. Creators are getting hundreds of thousands of followers and are making tens of thousands of dollars every month. But if you're feeling stuck, even though you feel like you're doing everything right, then this video is for you. This is a five step guide that will make going on TikTok easy. And no, it's not to upload 10 videos per day. These are actual steps that helped me grow multiple pages to over 3.2 million followers in total and that helped my students grow as well. So enough with the intro, let's go. Step 1. Algorithm Manipulation It doesn't matter how many followers you have. 0, 1000, 100,000, you need to do this step. Let's say for example that you are in the facts niche, like this page over here. Your for you page should be filled with facts videos. That way not only you show the algorithm that you are in this niche as a creator and this way you give more information to the algorithm and it promotes it to the right audience, but you also gain these three advantages. You can get viral video ideas from your for you page which make your for you page an idea generation machine. You also see what hashtags and sounds your competitors use so that you can use them as well. And generally it is very easy to catch up with the trends and updates by manipulating the algorithm like that. And to achieve that you just have to go to the search bar and search for videos in your niche and then interact with them, like, save, share and copy link, comment something like simply algorithm, but never use your creator page as a personal page. And now that we're talking about trends, let's go to the next step. Step 2. Master trending sounds The best way to find trending sounds in your niche is, like I said, find pages in your niche that are going viral, go through their page and look at the sounds they use and save them. I'll share with you a bonus secret tip at the end of this step. Another way is to find 2-3 to three influencers that always follow trends, you know, like the Charlie D'Amelios of TikTok. And before creating your video, go through their pages and look at the current trending sounds. And they will be the ones they use the most in their last 10 posts. And you can do the same thing through the For You page. Scroll through about 10 videos and when you see a sound being used more than once, it means that most likely it is a trending sound. So click on the sound, look at the number of posts it has and if the videos under that sound are recent. So now the secret bonus tip I have for you is to always find the sound you want to use first First, download it using sssstick.io and then put the sound to the video while editing your video within your editing software, like CapCut, Premiere Pro, etc. Then while uploading the video, pick the sound through your saved sounds or you can pick a completely different sound that is trending right now and drop the volume close to zero, but not zero. It can be one, two or three, it doesn't really matter, but we don't want it to be zero because from my experience, if you put the volume to zero, it's as if you don't use the sound at all. At least that's what the algorithm seems to think. But if the volume isn't at zero, the algorithm will push the video more. Probably, this is not always guaranteed. But we should also talk about the next step, because I haven't heard anybody talking about it and it can be the difference between 200 views and 200,000 views. Let's see. Step 3. Caption strategy. This is something new that I see happening more often lately on TikTok and it's probably because of Instagram. So except for the hashtags and keywords, this caption strategy will help you increase your watch time, which is the most important metric for growth and monetization. But how, you may ask? Well, look at this video for example. And let me tell you how to do it even better. Use the first line of the caption as your hook. It can be something simple like read more, all caps with an arrow pointing downwards. Or maybe something like how I plan to become rich in 2024. Now the main body should be valuable advice or a valuable story. And in the end you should use a call to action and your hashtags. Now this can make a huge difference difference, because if your viewers stay longer on your video to read the caption, it signals the algorithm that your page is actually helping users stay on TikTok longer and in return they promote your videos more. It's ridiculous how effective this strategy can be and it is really really underused. And if you find it difficult to write a longer caption, you can use ChatGPT and use a prompt like this one which is what I use to write these type of captions and it has helped me tremendously. But of course this is only one part of the caption. The next step is gonna cover something more. Step number 4. Hashtag strategy. I want you to understand that hashtags are not a magic tool that will make your videos go viral. The role that hashtags play has changed over the years. It is a keyword slash SEO tool that helps the algorithm understand your target audience, like keywords on steroids. So using hashtags like hashtag for you page or hashtag viral video won't help and will most likely damage your reach. We want to give the correct information to the algorithm and a good amount of information not to 
too little, not too much. So we want to use around 3 to 6 hashtags. That's where I found the most success. And now it doesn't matter anymore how many posts a hashtag has. Use hashtags that make it easy for the algorithm to understand your niche, both one word hashtags and multi word hashtags. Like when I used to upload creepy videos, I used hashtags like hashtag creepy and hashtag creepy video or creepy TikTok. But don't use like 5 words into one hashtag, of course. And you can also use hashtags that are searchable if you want to optimize your video for the search engine. For example, if you make an investing video, hashtag how to invest or hashtag investing tips. Also, I don't want you to look at bigger pages that don't use any hashtags. They don't use them because they are established pages. In some cases, it might work, so if you want, you can test things out by yourself. But the last strategy is the one that's gonna make the biggest difference. And gurus don't want to talk about it. Step 5. Snowball Strategy this is by far one of the best strategies on TikTok that is not talked about a lot. So this is how I implement this strategy. So once you get a viral video or a semi-viral video or even a video that performs better than your average video, I want you to create right away another video that is similar to that video or a sequel like part 2 and upload it by replying to a comment. For example, you make a video about Simpsons predictions and it goes viral. Then the next video you upload, Simpsons prediction part 2 and you reply to the most liked comment and then you pin that comment or at some point i was making true crime videos i had a video with about 2.5 million views while my page was shadow banned and i wanted to revive it and then i immediately make another video about a true crime topic in the same style as that one and i replied to the most liked comment now why does that work because you're taking advantage of the video that went viral and you boost that new video by getting traffic from that old video because you replied to a comment and here are three ways this comment is useful first it appears in the the beginning of the video and it can be used as a hook. It's intriguing and gives another reason for the viewer to watch your video. Second, the viewer from the first video will open the comments, they will see the most liked comment, they will see your video reply and tap on it. That gives a boost to your new video, if the quality is good of course. And lastly, the algorithm understands that this video is similar to the last one that went viral. You give the algorithm more information and you help it understand your target audience more. So it tries to push it to the right people again, so if the video is good quality and has a good hook, it will perform really well. By the way, if you want to learn more about hooks, I have a free product with 80 plus hooks that you can use and with insights and a few tips in there as well. It's completely free and you also join my newsletter, where I provide even more free value. So make sure to use this strategy because it's your win condition on this TikTok game. I've had multiple videos go viral back to back and I guarantee you that it's gonna help you as well. So that's it. Now that you've watched this video, make sure to watch this video next, which is a full guide on the TikTok creativity program. See you over there. I'm going to make a new video, so please I want to reach 1 million, so please